Welcome to our Medicare 101 series. In this presentation, I'm going to compare Medicare Advantage plans and Medicare supplements. In this series, we hope to answer general Medicare questions that you may have whether you are currently a Medicare beneficiary or soon to be a Medicare beneficiary. At the end of each video, you will see our phone number that can direct you to any of our offices throughout the Franciscan Health locations. Your costs associated with Medicare Parts A and B, Original Medicare, include premiums, copays, and deductibles. Your Medicare Supplement Plans and Medicare Advantage Plans will either supplement to help pay for some of the costs associated with Original Medicare, or they will replace those costs. In this video, I'm going to compare how they can work differently to either supplement or replace Original Medicare. Let's start with your Medicare options in general. First option is to just have Original Medicare and nothing else. This means that you have your red, white, and blue Medicare card that includes your Part A hospital and your Part B medical. And then you can have the optional prescription drug plan that can be added. The second option is to go with a Medicare Advantage plan. What these plans do are they replace original Medicare. They take your Part A hospital, your Part B medical, and most of them will also include a prescription drug coverage, wrap them all into one plan that replaces Original Medicare. These plans are offered by private insurance companies and have to meet Medicare guidelines. The uh, third option is to have Original Medicare plus a supplement. So you keep your red, white, and blue card, your A and B, and then you add a supplement to help pick up the out-of-pocket cost that Medicare leaves. Again, you have the option of adding a prescription drug plan in this case. How do I decide which plan will work for me? Will a supplement work for me or will a Medicare Advantage plan work for me? There is no right or wrong way to go with this. It's just what works best for you and your budget and your health. So, when you're thinking of going into a Medicare supplement, understand that you are going to have most likely higher premiums, but less out-of-pocket costs. So you are paying a higher premium for the plan to pay deductibles, co-pays, other out-of-pocket costs. Where with a Medicare Advantage plan, it's kind of the opposite. You're likely to have lower premiums, but you're gonna have to pay deductibles, co-pays, co-insurances, other out-of-pocket costs. So you need to decide what works for you. Would you rather have a higher premium and have the plan pay more or the lower premium and you pay more? When it comes to dental, vision, and hearing, the Medicare supplements do not cover dental, vision, and hearing unless it's medically necessary. The Part C Medicare Advantage plans may include some dental, vision, and hearing coverage. Now, let's bring it all together. Your first step, no matter which route you go, is that you need to be enrolled in Original Medicare. Whether you go with a Medicare Supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan, you must be enrolled in Medicare Parts A and B. If you choose to keep Original Medicare, then you would want to add a supplement and you would want to add a prescription drug plan so that you would have prescription drug coverage. If you choose to go with the Medicare Advantage plan, these replace Original Medicare. So you still have to be enrolled in Original Medicare, but this plan is now replacing Original Medicare. Then, if the Medicare Advantage plan does not cover your Part D prescriptions, then it may be necessary to add a prescription drug plan. When deciding whether to go with a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan, 
it's important to know your premium costs. Here we have a sheet that can help you when adding up what your total premium cost would be with each route. As you can see, with both routes, you are responsible for the Medicare Part A and B premiums as they are applicable to you. So if you decided to go with original Medicare and add a supplement, you need to include that Medicare Part A, B and premium. You need to include the prescription Part D premium, and you need to include the Medicare supplement insurance premium. When you add those together, you will get your total cost and premium for the original Medicare plus a supplement route. If you decide to go with the Medicare Advantage plan, again, you need to make sure you are including the Medicare Part A and B premiums as applicable. Even though the Medicare Advantage plans replace original Medicare, you are still responsible for those premiums and to be enrolled in original Medicare. You also need to include any Advantage Plan Part C premiums if they have one. Most Advantage plans include prescription drug coverage, but if for some reason you are in a plan that does not include prescription drug coverage and you have the option of adding a prescription drug plan, then you would want to include that premium also. Typically, with a Medicare Advantage plan route, you have the Part A and B premium and then the Part C premium, which would give you your total cost and premium in the Medicare Advantage plan route. If you'd like assistance with your Medicare options or just have general Medicare questions, call us at 877-883-6457 and you can choose the office located nearest you to speak with your local Franciscan Insurance Consultant.